parents, welcome to How to Teach Kids Four Types of Pronouns. Subject Pronouns, Object Pronouns, Possessive Pronouns, and Indefinite Pronouns. Subject Pronouns tell who or what the subject is. Object Pronouns tell who or what the action affects. Possessive pronouns show who or what has something, and indefinite pronouns do not refer to a specific thing or person. This is a resource chart to refer to during the lessons. These are the pronouns that we are going to have kids work with for each of the types of pronouns. Begin by introducing kids to the seven subject pronouns that will be taught in this video. I, you, she, he, it, we, and they. And explain that they replace a noun as the subject and then read each sentence. I practiced on the vault. You made a goal. She baked a cake. He likes hamburgers. It was fun to ride. We planted the flowers and they like to shop. Before starting the first practice page with kids, review this template. Subject pronouns replace subject nouns. Look at the picture. It is a man who is a painter. Read the first hint to them. Who is the sentence about? Read the sentence with them. The painter was on a ladder. Who is the sentence about? Painter. Next hint, what pronoun replaces painter? We know he's a painter and we know he is a man. So the pronoun would be he. He was on a ladder. This is the template for the first practice page and the demonstration lesson. Have kids write the correct subject pronoun to complete each sentence and the choices are he, she, it, we, they. Our hint for our first one is who is the sentence about? The painter was on a ladder. The sentence is about the painter, but we need to replace the word painter with a pronoun. He is the correct pronoun. So we're gonna cross that off and read the sentence now. He was on a ladder. Let's go to the next one. We see a girl, her name is Becky, and she has a cake there. Let's read the sentence. Becky baked a cake. Who baked a cake? Becky. So Becky is the subject. Now we want to replace this noun with a subject pronoun, and that would be she. So we're gonna cross that off and write she, at capital S, H, E. Let's go over here. Ooh, the roller coaster was fun to ride. What was fun to ride? The roller coaster. So we need to find a pronoun that replaces roller coaster. It is a thing and it is one thing. So it would be perfect. So we're gonna write it, capital I, T. It was fun to ride. Let's go down here, ooh, flowers. That is Bobby and the pronoun I is used for her. So it says Bobby and I planted the flowers. More than one person and we have the pronoun I. So we're going to go up here and use the pronoun we to represent both of them, Bobby and I. First, let's cross off what we already did. There we go. Okay, let's put we in here. And Bobby and I now become we. We planted the 
flowers. Now, let's go to our last one. Mom and Brenda like to shop. Who likes to shop? Mom and Brenda. So, if we cross off our we that we already used, we have one left. And the pronoun is they. Let's see if that works. They represent mom and Brenda like to shop. And so let's read it now. They like to shop. Yes, it works. Cross it off. And let's just read all of our sentences with a subject pronoun. He was on a ladder. She baked a cake. It was fun to ride. We planted the flowers and they like to shop. And this is a completed example. For additional practice, this is a second practice page with the subject pronouns I, you, she, he, it, we, and they. And this is a completed example. Now introduce kids to object pronouns. An object pronoun tells who the action affects. We're going to look at the pronouns me, you, her, him, it, us, and them, and then read each sentence. The teacher helped me. Mary sent you a letter. Tommy cooked for her. The dog sat by him. Bobby likes it. He will help us fix the fence. And mom took them out to eat. Before having kids start the practice page for object pronouns, review this template with them. So explain to kids that object pronouns replace object nouns. So before we read our sentence, let's look at our hint. Who or what is affected by the action? So now let's read our sentence. The umbrella covered Bella. Let's look at that. There's the umbrella and it's covering Bella. So the verb is covered and it is the action. So she is affected by it. It is shading her from the sun. So Bella is our object noun. Now we need to replace it with a pronoun. And that was our second hint. What pronoun replaces Bella? And the answer is her. The umbrella covered her. Now follow the example just shown in the demonstration lesson to complete each of these sentences with kids. And this is the completed example. As we saw earlier, the pronoun her replaced Bella. In the second sentence, him replaces Bobby. In the third sentence, us replaces Bobby, mom, and me. In the fourth sentence, it replaces cake. And in the last sentence, the pronoun them replaces Bobby and Becky. This is a second practice page that kids can complete and their choices are me, you, her, him, it, us, and them. And this is the completed example. Now introduce kids to possessive pronouns. They show who or what has something. And the seven possessive pronouns kids are going to work on are my, your, her, his, its, are, and their. Let's read the sentences for each one. This is my gym bag. I like your cat. Her dinner was yummy. Alex likes to ride his horse. 
The dog ate its food. He mowed our lawn. And they walked to their house. For our first activity with possessive pronouns, we're going to have kids complete the possessive pronoun crossword puzzle. They're going to first work on pronouns that go across, and then they are going to work on pronouns that go down. So with them, read each clue. One across. The gym bag belongs to me. It is mm, gym bag. The answer is my. To complete the sentence, it is my gym bag. The second clue is the long belongs to us. He mowed mm, lawn. The answer is our. He mowed our lawn. The third clue, the home belongs to them. That is mm, home. The answer is there. That is their home. And the fourth clue is the food belongs to the dog. That is mm, food. The answer is its. That is its food. The next clue is five down. The cat belongs to you. That is mm cat. The answer is your. That is your cat. The clue for six down is the horse belongs to Alex. That is mm horse. And the answer is his. That is his horse. And the last clue is seven down. The dinner belongs to mom. That is mm, dinner. And the answer is her. That is her dinner. And now we have a completed crossword puzzle. And this is a fill in the blank with the correct possessive pronoun. And this is the completed example. The first pronoun, possessive pronoun, is my, then his, her, its, their, are, and your. Now it's time to introduce kids to our last type of pronoun in this video, indefinite pronouns. They do not refer to a specific thing or person. They are nothing, everywhere, someone, no one, anyone, something, and everything. So with kids, read the sentences. Nothing is in my gym bag. People live everywhere. Someone delivered a package. No one was on the field. Does anyone know how to fix it? Something is wrong. And Kathy can't remember everything. Now have kids fill in the blank with the correct indefinite pronouns. They are going to choose from nothing, anyone, everywhere, someone, no one, something, and everything. The answers are, there is nothing to eat. The sky is everywhere. Someone left their lunch. No one is on the swings. Does anyone know how to fix it? Something is in the box. Kathy can't remember everything. Remember to have kids reference this resource chart when they're doing the activities. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe. Also, as always, I will leave the link for all the teaching templates in the description section.